Hey all you slayers out there, DTM Shadow Slayer here. Now I've noticed in the comment section of a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh videos that you guys want to know how to make the dual discs. Well, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that today and the first thing you need to do is download Armourer's Workshop. I'm going to leave a... Thanks a lot notification. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the Armourer's Workshop mod that will be in my Google Drive where you can download it from there. Uh, there will be plenty of other things from the Yu-Gi-Oh series in there as well that you can download like the map, the entire mod pack, uh, the textures for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro cards and everything, so if you want to go and make your own Yu-Gi-Oh! Roleplay, you can happily do so now. Uh, there will also be a link to the Forge, because you need to install Forge before you can install any mods. It's quite simple, there will be, if you need some help with it, there will be plenty of walkthroughs on YouTube that you can go and watch. I'm not personally going to do one of them, because I also want to help other content creators who are trying to get noticed on YouTube. So make sure to go and check those out as well, if you need help trying to find out how to download and install the mods. Now, without further ado, seriously, dogs, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So, first thing that you're going to need to do is, once you've got the Armour's Workshop installed, you're going to need to uh, first put down the Armour, which is this one right here. You're also going to need the Colour Mixer, which is there, and the Equipment Library, if you've already got a dual disc that you want to either change or replicate. So... What you do when you are in the armor, you are going to select which part of the body you want to use. If you want to make armor, obviously use the head, the chest, the legs, the feet, etc, etc. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using the sword. And then you press escape to get out of there. Then, you, with some of these blocks that you've got, you've got the equipment cube, which will be a glowing one, that's for the light on the dual disc, or you've just got the regular equipment cube. Those you can get in the armor's workshop menu in your creative menu here, armor's workshop. And there's all the different cubes you can use. So to make the dual disc, I have already got one pre-made right here. So I'm going to just show you how to do that because I didn't actually make the dual discs. Uh, other people like Mario, Alan and all those lot have because I am pretty rubbish at making them. So I've already got one pre-loaded here which I'm just going to show you how to place blocks down on and stuff. Uh, because like I said I can't make one but I can go from one. So. The back of the city door disc actually goes in the chest area on here. Oh yeah, there's a gun sword area. See, I told you I haven't actually made this myself. You're going to be changing that to chest. Which is torso. Yeah, there we go. And it's got the arms. Okay, that's a bit better now. So yeah, that goes into the chest area. And then using the equipment library. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I'm going to make them one from scratch. I'm sorry, guys. This is my first ever mod showcase, so I don't actually know what I'm doing. Why is that glitched out? Why does the chest have a face on it? That is absolutely terrifying. Okay. So, the dual disc goes on the left arm. So, I do, I'm going to do my best here. I haven't done one of these before. I did make the uh, Dragon Lord armor myself, so I shouldn't be able to be too bad at it. So you put the brace on as well, you won't be putting one which goes into the chest area because otherwise it will literally be glitching into the chest area. And from here you can actually make a dual disc. At the moment we're using blank blocks and I'll show you why in a minute. I hope that I do not screw this up. <laughs> See so it's going to come out slightly. I mean, it's just basically just giving you a basic idea of how to make a dual disc. It's not going to be perfect by any case. Well, I'm not going to be able to do it perfect because I'm not the best builder in the world. Especially when it comes to creating items such as dual discs. So that goes one, two, three blocks up. So it's going to come one, two, three blocks down. And then... There are already a lot of preloaded dual discs in the uh, Armour's Workshop on here as well, so when you go to the download page, they will also be in there, so you can feel free to use any of those, such as the Battle City dual disc, uh, that wrong. Uh, which is in there. My dual disc is in there, which is actually labeled Megas, because I stole Megas before I had a chance to use it. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> So yeah, here we are. You've got a basic idea of how it's going to look already. And then, what you are going to do is you're going to come over to the colour mixer, which is over here. And you're going to put your paintbrush into here. 
and paint type uh, normal. Let's just, let's just go with red for now. So then once you've chosen your colour, you put the paintbrush up in this small box and then it will give you a red paintbrush. And you can keep changing the colour of that or you can get multiple paintbrushes and have multiple colours. So let's just say this is going to be a red outline on this. You just place it on that face of the block and it will go all around. If, for whatever reason, you want to actually change the colour of your skin, so like I did with my armour, you can do this and put it all over your skin and then when the skin is loaded it will show it but when you take the armor off it will go back to your regular skin color which i found quite useful and for example if you do one of, if you do that up there then you just go down to there select the color of the skin that you want for like skin color and it will fix it for you and i've just dropped the paintbrush somewhere there it is Okay, so that's the red outline done. I'm gonna leave the inside bit white, I think. Let's put those two on there as well. So then we go back over to here again, back over to our color mixer. And next, I think I'm gonna pick the color black. So you take your red paintbrush, put it up here, and there you go. Change the color. Now, I actually think I'm going to have that part of it glowing white. Because why not? <clears throat> so that'll be the monster card zone there. Oops. That'll be the spell card zone there. Now, I know this isn't the perfect size for a dual disc, but I'm only doing this as a rough version just to show you guys how to actually do it. So we're going to make these all black. I mean, you can obviously pick whatever colour you want for your own dual disc. This is only a tutorial on how to actually use the Armour's Workshop to make such a dual disc. And then we'll have the white blocks through there, like that. And there you go, that's, that's the basic idea of how to make a dual disc. And then, I've got to try and remember myself now if you want to, how to save this. I don't actually remember how to do that myself. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so I think what you do is you get Put the item name in here, test disc, and then save. I think. Although I'm going to have to look up a tutorial myself on how to do this. <laughs> no, it isn't in there. Bollocks. Okay. <laughs> oh god, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I finally managed to figure out how to actually save your creation over here so this monstrosity of a daughter that i made i told you i can't do anything to like make anything nice in armor's workshop at all apart from the armor uh like dual discs i'm not sure i'm absolutely terrible with them uh so what you're going to need now is you're going to need the equipment skin template and you're going to go over to was it this one it was here yep you're going to place this here, you're going to save your creation, and boom, you have your dual disc. So, as you can see, I named it Test Disc. So then once you put that in there, then you have your test disc. So what you do is you press P, you then go over to the chest area, and boom, you put it on. And as you can see, where I accidentally put a bit of paint on me, which you can easily take off if you want to, it is on my character skin. And there, look, he's got his own little dual disc on. Obviously, it's not very good. It's not quite as good as the other ones, but it is on him. So that is how you make your own dual discs in Amra's Workshop. I hope this helped somewhat, even though I'm pretty terrible at these sorts of walkthroughs. And if you just want to get rid of this, then you just destroy it all. And why is that still up there? 
Oh yeah, that's why. I need to go and destroy that manually. That's why. So you have to go and destroy these manually, and you do have your daughters there, which is absolutely awesome. And as you can see, when I destroy this, it doesn't actually affect the daughter disc itself. It's still there. So you don't need to have massive dual discs floating in the sky above your city. But yeah, remember what I said? Links in the description to the download for Armour's Workshop with all of our dual discs in there. Also the link to the map is there, the anime packs for the actual cards themselves. And go and have fun making your own Yu-Gi-Oh! Minecraft roleplay, guys. And make sure to send me links to them when they're going up so then I can check them out and see what you guys have created. So if this helped at any moment, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button, hit show notifications, and I will see you all in the next chapter.